I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon Hey guys, hey. Rock Guy Gil, Bucky the Vampire Slayer This is Season 4, Episode 12, A New Man So last episode we left off with basically uh, Buffy and Riley Trying to discover each other a little bit more Now that they are both their secrets are out, you know? Yeah, babe, she said, I'm the slayer to him, yeah. and, you know, um, so now, I, I like how the different perspectives is, she is doing more of, like, um, the, it, mythical, and, um, yeah. um, you know, like, they, they know all the stories of myths and stuff like that, whereas he <laughs> is with a special unit yeah, of the government. Yeah, like military style, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I like the different... You know, and science. He's using, he's using science with the professor. So, is you know, two different sides. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, different. Sure, like, um, I don't know why this came to my mind, but sure, like, have you ever seen the Mission Impossible 7? It's like, so she's more <laughs> like the surgeon and he's more like the hammer, you know? They, she does it more like she learns to do all this stuff, do the research, while he just, just goes in and does it without, like, doing the research, you know? That's how I see it anyway. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, uh, yeah. It's oh, very also, specific. Uh, Mission Impossible 7. I don't know. It's just part of my mind. It's that way. You know, my uh, mind is really weird. Um, also, um, Spike, he can hit other people, or he can hit other demons, not people, which that right there I like because it. I feel like you add this character to the show, but you weren't doing nothing with him. Now you can actually have him on your guys' team because, you know, he can't hurt you, but he can also help you. He doesn't have to but help you by hurting other demons. No. And that, I feel like, will help um, maybe push him towards the right direction, yeah. you know? Yeah. If he's not hurting and, people, yeah. his mindset might change, yeah. you know? And I can also predict maybe at some point in the series, um, somehow they fix that, so then now they have to wonder if he's truly good or truly bad. I can see that being a storyline, so mm -hmm. that'd be pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's just dive into it, guys. If you guys get the form, you actually know what to do. Check out the Patreon, link in the description down below, all that good stuff. Here we go. How? How what? How is the light on, but it's so dark. <laughs> well, it said she was gonna be at the science library all night. Oh! But all of a sudden, it's more bright now. What is it? I was in the rec room. It, it came through the window. Yeah. We have to make this fast. I have better things to do tonight than kill. <laughs> yeah. I need to get that dick. So let's hurry this up. <laughs> You interrupted me getting some dick for this. I guess you won't be killing anything tonight after all. Don't be so sure. Well, what is it, Roberta? Hi, Giles. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. 19. Hard to believe, isn't it? There's someone I want you to meet. Um, this is Riley Finn, my boyfriend. Oh! Very nice to meet you, Mr. Giles. If he's boyfriend Giles, now? Or you're working somewhere else now? Uh, we're not, um, sort of between projects. Uh, is he sort of feel useless? Like he has no job? Oh, he's just nervous. But this is so nice, having everyone together for my birthday. So Walsh says adrenaline is like exercise, but without the exorbitant gym fees. Oh. Very witty. You should meet her. She's absolutely He feels left out. Yeah. Because... I got that from earlier, yeah. Perhaps we should have invited Professor Walsh to the party. Yeah. Oh, no. I, mean, I thought like the same thing. I mean, like, what has this character been doing since? Bunch of kids. That's my radio. And you're what? Shocked and disappointed? I'm evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Maybe a crypt. Someplace, you know, dark and dank. Are well, these moving out? A, a fridge to keep your blood fresh? No. Oh, well, that's gonna suck. You should just get a hotel room or something. Demon girl's got the point. Need fresh blood. If I had a few bob for a room with an honor bar. Out. And to think all that time you were sitting in my class. Well, most of those times. I always knew you could do better than a B minus. Now I understand your energies were directed to the same place as ours, in fact. We use the latest in scientific technology and yep. state of the art weaponry. And you, if I understand correctly, poke them with a sharp stick. Well, it's more effective than it sounds. I'm working on getting you clearance to come into the initiative. 
I think you'll oh. find the results for See, that's what I wanted. I think it'd be pretty cool, yeah. If she got the right funding, she should, should be unfucking unstoppable. Like How many hostels would you say you slain? Um, more than 17. I kill demons. I kill hundreds. Yeah. Okay, you can't. You can't touch me. I took out a. I took out an insect woman once. <laughs> you know? I think I took out a robot. I just missed out all the well, fifty episodes so far. When I saw you stop the world from, you know, ending, I just assumed that was a big week for you. No, that's it, Turns out I suddenly find myself. Yes. Even yeah. to know the plural of apocalypse. Yeah. If you've been fighting since you were 15, you'd have half your SMA too. We have different amounts of experience, you know? And, and plus, I do have that whole preternatural slayer strength deal. I've seen. Don't get me wrong, the girls I grew up with could hold their own, but. Well, I'm not even sure I could take you. That all depends on your meaning. Yeah, he's trying to feel. Um... He doesn't feel masculine around yeah, her? Yeah, that's what Well, get the fuck over it. Yeah. I'm sorry, Buffy's not here, but uh, if I see her... Buffy's been very influenced by your calls. She quotes you quite often. <laughs> Sometimes she sounds a bit like an introductory textbook herself. Tyria, she's bright. All she's really been lacking is encouragement in the academic setting. Our, um, I think it's best if, if, um, if we let a young person find their own strengths. If you lead a child by the hand, then find their own footing. I'm just saying, Buffy is a... Well, she's not the typical student. Once you get to know her, she's a very unique girl. It can be unhealthy to take on adult roles too early. What I suspect I'm seeing is a reaction to the absence of a male role model. Oh, dear. Absence. Buffy Whoa. clearly lacks a strong father figure. I mean, he's not her daddy. Yeah. I I'm mean... sorry, I have things to do. Damn. She cut his dick off her head. There you go. She well, don't I this. mean, well, I mean, it's evening, yeah. she doesn't know that he's that, you know, into her life. So, I had another broken stone. Oh, apparently, it hasn't happened yet. A bit of luck. Or well, they read hot spots, areas of otherworldly energy. You must have picked this place up days ago. Stop. Oh. What are you talking about? What, what, what's the initiative? What, um, what on earth does it have, have to do with Buffy's new boyfriend? They don't know. Right. No one told him. One of the commandos. What? <laughs> oh, wait, that's kind of piercing. No one told well, him? That's marvelous, isn't it? See one of them? Who else knows? Everyone. No one, like. no one else knows this. Onion, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and Spike. Spike? Spike? <laughs> Spike me? Only the basic stuff. You can beat the crap out of me, go ahead. I can't stop you. Or, or, or you can listen to what I have to say. Find out what's going on. What are you talking about? Something bad is happening. Bad for both of us. There's all whispers and rumors out there. Only one thing is coming through clear. That something's harming demons. Uh. And it's not the Slayer. You know anything about it? Ethan is saying that someone is hunting demons down, and it's not Buffy. They're scared. There's a commando. This new outfit, it's blundering into places it doesn't belong. It's throwing the worlds out of balance. And that's way beyond chaos, mate. Mm-hmm. Aww. The training together. I'll go all out if you will. Are you sure? Here we go. Oh. Oh. Right. No. Oh, I'm so sorry. I I didn't mean to. It's fine. Good. Oh, Is he gonna be like a mad because yeah. she's stronger than you? Like, yeah. fuck, get over it. There are still a couple of sorcerers. The night is still our time. Time of magic. Can't she do that by herself? What did she do with the pencil like two seasons ago? What but the they're doing this together. Mm. And that's more, like, it's harder. Mm. Also, this is kind of living, because our plant's somewhat alive. Not alive, but you know. Oh, 
okay. Um, what the heck was that? I don't know, but uh, the pedals are off. <laughs> well, that's true. Okay, we're like halfway through this episode. Where is this uh, episode going? Oh, is he a demon? Oh, shit. <laughs> They're gonna try to kidnap him. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Hello, shit! I, I was trying this new spell, floating a rose, when all of a sudden, sing, 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 like all around the room. It was like a rose based missile. Yes. Presence, this dark. Magic's energy blocking the spell. Which means new. Mm -hmm. Someone else doing magics. Maybe. Oh, that was probably the whisper that hurt. Oh, try. Ethan probably did it. We'll touch it him the magic. Sander. Sander, wake up. This is so funny yeah. to see him in a, this outfit. Mom, I need it. It's me, Charles. Yeah, Ethan has turned me into a demon, and I need your help. It's me. I you know, I'm not yeah. <laughs> Listen, don't you understand me? Yeah, I had a feeling just like that. Did you write? Can he write something? Like, yeah. I'm Giles? Maybe it'll translate through. I don't know. Robbed his ass? The door was fucking wide open. I think it ate him up. If it did, you would see blood. Well, babe, it's a TV show. Well, Spike. Wonderful. The perfect ends to a perfect day. Giles? Go oh, on. he can yeah. understand yeah. him! You understand me? I'm speaking English? No, you're speaking Fioral. I happen to speak Fioral. And, by the way, why the hell are you suddenly a feral demon? You just come over all demony this morning? I'm supposed to just help you out of the evilness of my heart. You help me and I, I don't kill you. Oh, <laughs> <Okay. seriously convincing. laughs> Try it again without the stutter. Money? I could pay you money. Oh, I like money. Two hundred. Fine. <laughs> right then. Right then. What's yeah, first? He needs money. You want to tell the Slayer what you've gotten yourself into? No. When I find Ethan, I can clear all this up without Buffy ever having to find out that anything happened to me at all. Did anyone see what did it? Megan. No. It was just her, you know, growling and things breaking. It sounded like a struggle. Poor child. Oh. Whole initiative. We'll do whatever you need. Okay. They probably have better tech, too. So yeah. probably find this thing. Turn, yeah. Down, Jim! <laughs> 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 I like this feeling. Sort of mindless need to destroy. Yeah. Uh oh! This anger, rage. Good times. Go with it. <laughs> no. Go with it! <laughs> it's fun. I can't do it. Do it for me. Making this fioral demon attack Giles? Yeah. Yes, that would draw in a lot of dark energy. Okay. Will Xander stay here? Who's ever controlling this demon may call and ask for a ransom. Give them anything they want. You got it. Riley, you and I are going to the magic shop. What? Bye, you. Ethan Rain. Yeah. Who's that? Professional bad guy. He's got to be the guy that made the demon attack Giles. At least we know who we're looking for. I need a search. Local hotel registrations matching the name Ethan Rain. R-A-Y-N-E. Call me back. Okay. You can do that? It'll take a couple of minutes. In the car, ready to See, go. they both can help each other because when yeah. he actually. Yeah. When I talked to Professor Walsh, mm -hmm. she said when we located the demon, I. I'm not supposed to bring you along. Oh, not taking me with you. I am going and I am letting you come along. Buffy, it's not really your call. This is a military operation now. Uh, troops. She doesn't work yeah, for you. I don't work for you guys. Yeah. This demon did something to Giles. Uh oh! Now huh? it's not a threat. Dismantle the getaway car, that was scary. Hold on, Mr. Mando, they're the same guys that are after me too. 
They may haunt you around to split their attention. I'll pay you another hundred dollars. <laughs> Smart. He's leading them away. Giles? No, it, 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 calm down. It's okay. Good Giles. Beat his ass! Oh. Nobody can hurt you. You've got to stop it. It killed Ripper and now it's trying to get me. Don't let him go. <laughs> Riley, you can't handle Ethan? Well, she's not even doing this. Yeah, is, is he trying to hurt Buffy? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Giles! Oh, oh, I... Please, please don't die. Actually, I feel quite well. Except for the rage. I think he's okay. I've really got to learn to just do the damage and get out of town. It's the stain gloat gets me every time. Oh, he came back okay, to normal. Cool. He pushed her on the face. You okay? Oh, I'm nervous. Nervous. For a child. How did you know it was me? Your eyes. Yeah. You're the only person in the world that can look that annoyed with me. <laughs> it's gonna go on much longer. I'd rather like to be killed. You can't kill me. What's a slayer gonna do to me? By the authority of the U.S. military, you are being taken into custody pending a determination of your. Oh, the U.S. military. Okay. okay. Take it from here. If I'd gotten here any later, if Giles had killed Ethan, I never would have gotten him back. You'd find some other way. I'm the slayer. Yeah, I'm the shit. I like it. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Good, good. I'm sorry, Giles. Mm -hmm. I really thought I told you about Riley and the initiative. And I know that it doesn't help. Look, I promise it won't happen again. I will tell you everything. Uh, this, um, initiative. I'm, I'm a little concerned. Um, Ethan's not exactly a, a reliable source, but... I'm not dating the initiative. I'm dating Riley. He's part of something that we, we don't really understand. Are you sure you're not just saying this because you don't like Riley's boss? No, no, I'm not saying that at all. Be careful with her. She reacts on instinct. There's no discipline there. Her loyalties are uncertain. You won't be disappointed in her. She's good at what she does. She is the truest soul I've ever known. Oh, no. Oh, no. Spontaneous poetic exclamation. You want to know what I think? I think you're probably right. Okay. I think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna work no, out I think in the she's, long run. No, she's planning something. She's gonna try to lock her up something. I think that she thinks that she's dangerous and she's going to lock her up because she's supernatural, you know? Yeah, and also, you know, she's like, oh, she has no loyalties, blah, yeah. blah, blah. That is correct. Mm -hmm. she's not, if she works for you, her loyalties will be for this yeah. initiative. And her her job is to not put, um, you know, is to save yeah. humanity. And not, it's not nothing to do with the government. Right. So I don't think it's a good idea. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of, uh, I don't know if you haven't seen this movie, but it's, it reminds me of Captain America Civil War, where it's like, you have certain heroes have to sign up for the government, and it allows you not to go somewhere else that you want. They tell you where you're supposed to go. Yeah. So sort of like that, like, if they send her somewhere where she doesn't agree, then what are they going to do to her? Lock her up? Or she wants to go somewhere, but they won't allow it, you know? So I just don't want her to be controlled yeah, yeah. by this group. Yeah. You know, she's... You know, she's been alive. At first, I, at first she's, done, like, yeah. she's, she's done great so yeah. far. She don't need you. Yeah. Maybe some of the government money. Yeah. That would probably be nice. But... At first, I thought it would be a pretty cool idea to have her outside this group. But now I'm thinking not so much because... 
they, although they're fighting for the same cause, they're going about it different ways. And I feel like she's not a person who will compromise. Like, when Buffy wants to do something, she'll probably, I could easily see her locking her up to get her out of the way, you know? Yeah. Or um, doing something to do Or her. they're going to try to manipulate her yeah. into doing something. something yeah. yeah. So it's like, it's either my way or the highway. and Especially having Riley there, yeah. because Riley will be like the in-between. Yeah. He's going to try and smooth things over, yeah. you know, between each, you know. So. She probably doesn't even like the problem. She probably wouldn't even like the fact that, you know, she has a group of friends who knows. Like, oh, well, I don't like that. Like, they have... Um, Xander and Willow and everything like that. I don't want people, I, citizens to be a part of this, too. And I bet you she won't even respect Giles when she yeah. finds out what Giles does. Yeah. Because in her mind, you know, it's all about the science, yeah. all about the whatever. But not knowing that he has so much information, yeah. but <clears throat> she's not going to listen because she wants to do it the government way, the blah, blah, blah. And that's probably why Giles probably doesn't like her because he probably sees right through her, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also, the reason why he was saying these things, like, be careful, was because when you were, you left the room, but he, when he was talking to Ethan, Ethan was telling Giles that, hey, something's going down, demons are killing each other, and they are scared, like, the other demons, yeah. and it's going off balance. Something's going wrong. Mm -hmm. And he thinks that it is the initiative. Yeah. Or, you know, like, yeah. Okay. So, and that's why Giles is worried for her, because he thinks something's going on. That's not how it's supposed to be. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Either way, this is a good episode. It started off kind of rough for me, like, where the episode going, but uh, it picked up. Like, it was half. so yeah. funny to see him with yeah. uh, him, um, that, uh, Giles yeah. and uh, Demon and Spike. They yeah. were so cute. I, I, if there was a couple more scenes with them together, I would have loved it. Yeah. You know? Anyway, guys, if you didn't get the full reaction, you know what to do. Check out the Patreon. Link's in the description down below. We'll see you guys next week.